also breaking and developing right now. Police at the scene of an active shooter situation in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. Officers are surrounding an area near a restaurant. A gunman reportedly was spotted there. Trace Gallagher is live with the latest on this. Trace. Harris, that restaurant is on King Street in Charleston. It's called Virginia's, where witnesses told the local affiliates that an African-American male in his 50s came out with a gun and said, quote, there's a new sheriff in town. Some say he also said, I am the new king of Charleston. There are eyewitness reports the man opened fire on another employee, and just moments ago, police confirmed that one person has been shot and taken to the hospital. His condition right now is unknown. Police say at least one other person is being held in Inside the restaurant as a hostage, there may be more. There's no word on demands or if the police are in contact with the suspect, but apparently they have struck up some type of conversation and negotiations may be underway. Now, some people claim to have snuck out of the restaurant by crawling on their stomachs. By most accounts, including the mayor of Charleston, this sounds like a disgruntled worker situation, but police, as you said, are treating this as an active shooter. The nearby streets, you can tell from the the video have all been shut down, blocked off. The businesses in the area are on lockdown, and the business owners and any any uh, customers are being told to stay inside with the doors locked. This is happening, if you don't know the area, on King Street, which is very hot in Charleston. Upper King is the design and dining district. Middle King is the fashion area. Lower King, the antique district. This is in the upper part, which is close to the College of Charleston. And it's only a few blocks away from the church that Dylan Roof shot and killed nine people in in June of 2015. So right now, we have confirmed... Well, we can start. I'm just going to make a statement. All right. Not taking any questions. So we'll be back at 2.30 with an update. Okay, that's fine. So right now, we're just going to give a, a brief statement. That's fine. Okay? All right, very All right. good. All right, Mayor. No, I'll start. Oh, you are sorry. Okay, Charles. We're going to start with a uh, police report from Mr. Charles Francis, who's our information officer. Uh, dispatch got a call at 12.17 today about the reference to the shooting at the 400 o'clock at uh, King Street. Officers arrived on scene, found one shooting victim. Officers were able to get that victim out of the building, and that person was transported to the hospital. As of right now, I don't have a different update, but that'll come later. But we have, we know we have a couple of hostages in the building with, with the shooting. So we have SWAT on scene, we have hostage negotiation, we have no choice, and we also have the county here to assist us. So we're asking citizens to avoid this area. So please avoid this area. And if you're nearby, just stay where you are. Shut it in place. Just stay where you are. Any word on who the person is? So, as Mr. Francis just mentioned, we have a situation at hand. It is unfolding. Uh, we, we've cordoned off from Calhoun Street to Morris Street, from St. Philip over to meeting in that, in that area. So, we ask everyone to respectfully stay away while this uh, situation is unfolding. We do know already at this point that the shooter is a disgruntled employee. This is not an act of terrorism. This is not a hate crime. It's a it's a disgruntled employee who has come on the scene of his employment. We are ready for the situation. Uh, no matter what happens, we have our expert uh, police negotiators attempting to negotiate with the shooter, uh, to, that hopefully there will be no more shots fired today, but it, again, the situation is unfolding, so we ask anyone in the area to stay clear. We're already cooperating closely with SLED, with, with the Highway Department, with our partners at uh, the College of Charleston. Uh, we are very thankful today for the response and bravery of our first responders, not just our uh, police department, but also our fire department and the other partners that I mentioned are all on the scene. We'll be back to as soon as we know any, anything transformative or definitive. Other than that, we'll be back to at 2.30 just to give you an update regardless of...